And uh, we're speaking to director Declan Rex. Now, Declan, how was it to head home off down uh, to the people that you love and know so dearly and, and make this film happen amongst them? Um, well, I've, I've shot quite a few things down there. Um, and it's, uh, you know, sometimes the, the reason we keep going back, I suppose, is because um, the people are... Are, are open to us being there. I think a, a lot of times in Dublin, Dublin has become a little bit jaded. You know, people are uh, just a little bit fed up with film crews and TV crews, uh, whereas it's still a bit of a novelty um, down the Midlands. Um, you know, and it also helps, you know, having a local connection on, when we, we, you know, we have had a very tight budget, but on TV show and on, on the film, it helps having uh, local connections and, you know, opens a few doors that probably wouldn't be open to us otherwise. No, but do you not feel now, as a, as a man from Offaly, and of course as a director on Eden, that uh, some sort of amazing feeling of pride to bring Offaly to the big screen in oh, this way? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's why we, we, you know, that's why I'm delighted to have found, when, when I first read Eugene's play, it was like, oh, I haven't read anything about where we're from, you know. <laughs> it was the first time that I'd, I'd seen anything like that. Um, so, no, absolutely, you know, it, you know it's... it's um, I mean, I've done, I've met programs in other parts of the country as well, but uh, no, it's it's terrific to be able to to show awfully off because it is because it's in the Midlands. It's one of those places where people tend to pass through it on the way to somewhere more interesting, like Galway, or you know, or on their way back to Dublin or whatever. You know, even for people within the country, they they tend to overlook the Midlands. Um, so no, it was a great opportunity, and you know, always delighted to, and will always continue to uh, tell stories and. Uh, you shot Eden with director of photography Owen McPollin in full anamorphic widescreen and for a reason I believe obviously because Offaly's flat yeah no absolutely I mean um, uh, the widescreen really helps and it also it helps to um, to separate our characters you know to keep them distant you know in just in visual storytelling terms um, to uh, keep as much distance between our two central characters as possible and also you know to what when you've got uh, the characters on their own you can you know put them off to one extreme side of the frame it just helps to um, tell the story visually and just build up that sense of isolation that, that, that they're feeling um, and plus we you know we had sh- um, myself and Owen had worked together on, on Pure Mule and we were keen to try try something different because we were shooting in the same area to try something different with the film um, and shooting kind of more or shooting widescreen um, allowed us to sort of to exaggerate all those little small moments and we shot because we shot a lot of it in the house as well uh, we didn't want it to feel like a kitchen sink drama which I think it would have if we were shooting in a, in a, a, a square or a format Alright of course and, and how was it now to uh, balance what you wanted as a director on screen and, and the budget for this movie what sort of uh, budget were you working with? Um, I think it was just a little under 2 million euros which um, uh, depending on the state of the dollar and the euro is probably, you know, just under three million uh, dollars. Um, so it was very, you know, it's very tight when you've got uh, a crew that you've got to bring down to the Midlands, put them all up, and uh, and you know, shooting on Super Thirty Five. It's um, it's always you never have enough money, but <laughs> but you know, I think it's good. The limitations call, um, force you to think creatively and to come up with you know unique. Uh, uh, ways of dealing with problems so I think you know it's good to have limitations it forces you to to think creatively Are you working with Eugene O'Brien on any up and coming projects Declan? Yeah we we have one or two things that we're trying to get uh, up and running Um, one in particular that we'd hope to shoot next summer again in the Midlands Um, so fingers crossed you know you never know these things just take so long to get up and running I mean Eden I suppose has been we start, first started talking about it seven years ago, and uh, I mean, we really pushed it after Pure Mule, so it took about two years to get the finance together. Um, but you know, touch wood, we'll be we'll be um, highlighting the um, the Midlands very shortly again. And Declan, what comes next now for Eden? What are the plans for the film itself? Well, it, um, we um, have been doing the festival circuit, and we're we're uh, opening in. New York, and then we open on in I think five other cities, sort of every week after that. 
Um, so, you know, we're getting it out there, uh, which is great. I mean, for our, a lot of Irish films never see the light of day outside the country. Um, so we're absolutely thrilled to, you know, to get the opportunity to, to showcase the film over here. Well, it's absolutely fantastic, and thank you very much for speaking to us here on Radio Irish. Director Declan Rex. Declan, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. Director Declan Rex there, here on Radio Irish. Broadcasting 24-7 to the Irish community. RadioIrish.com Now, following its opening night screening at this year's first ever Los Angeles Irish Film Festival, the award-winning Irish drama Eden is set to be released in selected cinemas across North America. From Liberation Entertainment, Eden is opening here in the United States, and for a full schedule and a full list of cinemas where you can go see Eden, visit EdenMovie.net. That's EdenMovie.net. Net, E-D-E-N-M-O-V-I-E dot net. Directed by Declan Rex, Eden first received industry acclaim at the film's international premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival here in New York uh, this year when Eileen Walsh won the Best Actress Award for her role in the film. Since then, it has screened at numerous international festivals, including the Edinburgh International Film Festival, and we all know that well. Now, the film was produced by Samson films with funding from Board Scan and Aheron, the Irish Film Board, Radio Telefi Sharon, RTE, and the Broadcasting Commission of Ireland, the BCI. And we are delighted to be speaking here on Radio Irish to lead actress of Eden, actress Eileen Walsh, all the way from Cork. The film's director, Declan Rex, joins us too, and we even have a wonderful conversation with the man who wrote this powerful Irish film, Eden, Eugene O'Brien. Hello. 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 Hi, Eugene. How are you? Thank you very much for joining us here on Radio Irish. Writer Eugene O'Brien, who wrote Eden. Eugene, what made you want to write this story? Well, I suppose um, I wanted to write a story about where I'm from and the town I'm from, which is Eatonderry in County Offaly. And it just kind of came out of me. Uh, I wanted to write something about relationships and I wanted to write something about the people of the area and the sense of humour and um, <clears throat> just their voice and all that. And uh, I, just, I was an actor for 10 years and uh, while I was kind of resting, I started to write this play and it was probably the easiest thing I've ever written. I think it was, uh, it was uh, boiling inside me for years and then it just came out on the page. Um, and then the Abbey Theatre did it uh, Colin McPherson directed it, uh, the great writer, Irish writer, um, who, so who specialises in monologues. A lot of his plays are monologues, so he was a great help uh, in shaping it in the rehearsal room. Uh, and then it, we did it in the West End of London, and it's been translated a lot, and we've done it all around Europe, in Dutch, in Romanian, in Austria, all sorts of places. Uh, and then we have now wound up making the film. The play was done here four years ago in the Irish Rep. It was a very successful production, and uh, it's been done in Philadelphia, I think, and a couple, uh, a couple of productions in LA as well, uh, because it's just by small professional companies, because it's a great, there's two great big parts for people, and it's very cheap to do because you don't need a set, <laughs> you just need two chairs. Uh, so I presume, I, hopefully, I uh, people will do it again over here. 24 hours a day, radioirish.com.